Hello and welcome to Hattip Exam Learning Resources. In this session, we are starting the SES trainings. Uh, this is specifically for basis initially, and then we will move ahead for the other SES training. So at the start, we will be installing the SES University Edition, uh, which we will be using for our training purpose. So let's start the processes of s installing the SES University Edition without uh, wasting any time. So these are the steps which we will be uh, following actually in this okay so uh, for this as mentioned on the SES website itself these are the basic requirement when you want to install SES university, edi university edition you should have Microsoft Windows uh, 7, 8, 8.1 or 10 hardware support of 64 bit is required so you just need to go here and check whether your machine support uh, the 64 bit or not right click and uh, uh, properties okay just a minute I'll tell you So whenever you click on this properties, for, so you can see here, this is system type 64 bit. So this can show you like uh, what is the type of 64 bit uh, machine or 32 bit machine kind of thing. So this detail you can find it over here. So let's move it here. So just right click and properties. It will tell you the detail. Okay. So now uh, let's create this folder. In uh, somewhere, uh, if this folder should know, name should be like SES University Edition in my folder. So I am just creating here C Common Drive SES University Edition. Okay, so let me go here on the C Drive Common folder. Okay, so I have just previously pr uh, done some practice, so I have created this. Okay, so now let me create another folder here and give the SES University addition okay so this this type name of the folder you have to create it the reason I will tell you why I have to create it and create inside that my folders so says expect this uh, kind of folder structure to be uh, there on your machine okay my folder so that is what we have created now let's move this uh, installing the says university edition download the says university edition go to this link which I, I'll be sharing this PDF as well okay so you can just follow the steps as well so this is the place we from where you have to download this says uh, uh, university edition so click download which we will direct you redirect you to download the software and you need to create your uh, login actually for this in the says uh, profile you have to go to and uh, create it's just university edition which supports uh, start by choosing the operating system so we will be working on windows operating system which everybody has okay so this installation step and these are the basic steps which we have already done now download it from here and uh, it will tell you the how to download it okay so just here click here says download software for this and you have to create the profile if you already created the profile then logged in here and it will uh, show you the download link so here you can see uh, now log in to the uh, download the SES and so let me log in in the system okay first once you log in then uh, you will uh, see the this kind of file needs to be started to be downloaded so that is known as UVBA basics app 94 or something correct so download it and the size of the software is around 2.4 GB so it will take some time to get downloaded okay so once downloaded so it's very simple download okay this kind of file would be uh, like the version keep changing okay so it may not exactly the same name it could be a little different but just you remember the extension is the dot OVA file so that's the which will make sure that this is for Windows uh, uh, a virt virtual machine on Windows will be used for this purpose. Okay, so install SES University Edition. Now, for that, what you have to do this in on your machine, you should have Oracle Virtual Machine installed. Uh, okay, so for this, uh, 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 like uh, I have uh, in this video, I have not shown how to install this Oracle Virtual Machine. It's just uh, you search for the Oracle Virtual Machine and uh, you can get it. Okay, so just let me see. Uh, again for this to download this uh, virtual box this is known as oracle virtual box vm virtual box it's this uh, link directly given over here like to get the virtualization software correct so just click on the download virtualization box for windows so it will bring you to the, over the, uh, this link just clock, uh, click on the windows host okay it's because we will be using windows so it will be uh, start downloading this exe once see you download this exe it's a very simple installation so this is 100 mb so let it get downloaded first then we'll come back here okay so this is once downloading okay and once you install it on your machine you will see this kind of uh, logo would be on your desktop uh, should be available okay 
now it has been downloaded so you can go here in the download folder you can see this is 5.2.6 is already so just double click it very simple installation there is nothing special you have to do this to install this virtual box very simple because in my machine already there so it might say like it's already there so just click next okay uh, virtual box application where it would be installed c program oracle and virtual box okay so it might complain it like it's already there or kind of thing okay so create start menu entries or whatever uh, shortcut you want it so i would suggest keep it everything default uh, um, installation of networking feature will reset your network connection and temporarily disconnect for you from the network so that is fine you uh, proceed with installation now yes and click on the install button okay so it will start installing okay uh, so something they will ask you kind of verify and all this thing so now it is getting installed okay please wait while setup of wizard install on oracle virtual machine so let me pause until it is get done so this is getting installed it's a very simple installation like any uh, software you install on your machine so let me finish it out okay so start oracle virtual machine okay let's let it get start as well otherwise what you can do this is the logo would be created over here like similarly on your desktop would be created and you can start it okay so says university edition in my case already there uh, because I have done some practice and all this thing so that's the reason it already there so what I will do this actually here um, if I can change any set let me go setting general oh so we can see like uh, there is a ova file is also available for us uh, which is we have downloaded so now let's import this uh, let's go here and uh, file import appliance and uh, uh, next no uh, just a minute okay uh, file import okay yes from here go to the download folder where we have downloaded open and then click next and uh, just give it automatically rename it correct underscore one it had added so let's don't change any settings from here let's go to for our document over here what it says uh, install says university edition okay and this is what we have done don't change any setting to import software okay so let it be 2 GPU 1 GB RAM etc and uh, let it get imported so which will take some time so let's import it okay so it will take a few seconds to get Im imported okay so let's wait for it to be get finished so here you can see it is importing virtual disk image says university edition vmdk file so it will take few more seconds okay so let it get finished to be completed meanwhile let me tell you like uh, on the hadoop exam website if you go there are various uh, training and certification materials is available so currently we have for the ses uh, we just go to the home page and uh, here these are the available product for preparing for the certification so this is for basis certification advanced CES certification says uh, certified uh, statistical business analyst certification and then uh, this platform administration so these are various certification preparation material available so which you can buy as a individually or as a package uh, version uh, so soon we will be launching uh, CES based training as well uh, okay so where we will be how this entire training session should be recorded and would be available for you to subscribe so there are various products available from the hadoopigdown.com it's not only about SES it's like other trainings from the Hadoop Spark etc uh, like a lot of Java, Python, Scala everything is available so you can just uh, subscribe it here if you need, need it uh, okay so let's uh, uh, these are various certification for the uh, Hadoop framework, Fortinworks, uh, EMC certification, MAPAR certification. Many preparation material is available. Okay, so you can subscribe it as per your need. Okay, so uh, that's that's about uh, hadoopexam.com okay so let me go here what is our import uh, status okay so this this is imported underscore one because i was already having this says university edition so it's renamed okay so now let's before doing anything do the required changes okay 
here you can see now map to the folder which we have created as a shared folder correct you remember we have created one folder here in the common that is known as SES university edition my folder because whatever things you will be working it would be uh, like saved here in this folder so go to the settings again here select this okay right click settings okay so it will open this and you can rename now if you want it later on it cannot be okay go to the shared folder okay uh, in the shared folder location this is the shared folder okay they are saying it and then uh, folder path you need to add it over here okay so add over here folder path which is this one is my folder till my folder okay uh, which we will be similarly it will automatically come up uh, okay so remember it has to be my folders it's not my folder because says look for this okay so add s here okay it has to be my folders here you can see okay then auto mount it okay select auto mount and then and select the folder which we have created previously okay uh, this folder is this seems not there that's the reason it is complaining so let's rename it okay I don't know what is the problem I can select shared folder folders auto mount okay now it's coming up okay so that has to be my folders okay and auto mount should be selected you sh should see the below folder once created okay let's create okay and then okay so what they were mentioning here in the shared folder you can see count one okay now next go and do the normal start select normal start so we are starting the university edition okay from here and uh, you will see uh, below says window it will take few minutes to get started okay so just started correct it's running okay so this is coming up this is in the preview window we can see here okay okay yeah this is the window we should be able to see here okay so you can just uh, close this uh, okay so it will take few uh, minutes to get started okay once it is started then you have to go to this URL localhost 10080 mm, come on come up some time it is taking up okay first time it will take few minutes to get started and later on we will not uh, shut down this machine and we will just save the state wherever it is so whenever we start next time it would be faster compared to uh, like uh, the first start okay so just wait still it is taking time okay so you can see this is started and uh, do not close this window and uh, a window until uh, you are finished your work so so we will be always keep starting this window uh, when we work on the set so the you will not be working over here in this window okay so this window just needs to be uh, up okay so now let's copy this URL port you can remember 10080 so just click over here come in the URL and you can see here uh, so this is the URL and you can see welcome to the CES studio okay so that is the window you must see the below screen if everything is fine now start the CES studio start CES studio so it will open up another window okay so and once you open it you can see the below window which uh, like uh, okay just let it come over here everything first time is little slower okay so uh, be patient okay so you can see after that the says uh, is coming up okay so and uh, let me close this okay so this is the our says window okay which we will uh, go through later on about in detail okay so this was my folders and etc so let me go to the my folder here you can see like a lot of things have already been created inside this folder once we this is the folder which we have created so don't worry about this we don't have to uh, worry about this what exactly this things and kind of thing so that is fine so that is what here the says is installed 
okay so now let's move ahead about what exactly so important about point about SAS university edition please note that SAS university edition has the following software available from the SAS you can use SAS studio obviously which we can see base SAS you can do this statistics related things you can do this SAS IML uh, things you can do this uh, access to PC file formats okay so uh, like uh, access files and etc you can access it using this so this is various things to be so like to work upon the base SAS and advanced SAS it's uh, good to work on even uh, for clinical perspective if you are working on this and uh, predictive analytics and uh, any things you can uh, like kind of work on this and also this says is running underline OS is a sent OS Linux version okay so this virtual machine is hosted and in this virtual machine actually Linux is there and on this Linux your says university edition is there even your working environment is Windows but on the Windows we have created the Linux virtual machine uh, which is using uh, like which is provided by SAS itself this OVA file contains this Linux machine and on this Linux file system we have installed the SAS so 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 you will see like similar to the Linux working environment rather than as a Windows uh, like kind of thing we'll see like when we really work on this in the next module okay so this is advanced analytics business intelligence and this all things can be available and you can work upon this okay so we'll start with the base initially base SAS certification and then we'll move ahead okay so now troubleshoot now if everything sometimes does not work as I mentioned in the PDF sometimes some issue might come while installing the SES software so what it's sometimes when you install it this virtual machine so there is a, some error kind of coming up VTX kind of thing you VTX is disabled and kind of thing so so the main problem here is like in your BIOS your Windows operating system BIOS uh, like this image uh, this uh, virtualization is not enabled so that's very simple fix which you have to do this so to do this you have to what you have to go to do your BIOS setting you have to go to so to reach into the BIOS setting we have to restart your machine and while starting you have to use F11 key okay so it's depend on which laptop you are using it which companies which uh, generally but F11 is the key which while re restarting the laptop you have to keep pressing it and once you keep pressing it this this kind of window will come up okay so this is the BIOS setting you need to set up and you go to the system configuration see virtualization technology if it is disabled like initially in my case it was disabled so I have to enable it okay so if you don't know how to do this then you just go through like how to change the BIOS setting for your laptop you need to find it out actually which I cannot show on the uh, this training exactly okay so this is just BIOS setting you need to change it and you need to enable the virtualization so this is very common problem people see when they have installed this kind of software okay uh, so that's all about this uh, in this session we were just uh, uh, talking about how to install the SAS University edition if there is any problem how to fix this kind of thing and what is the available and so this PDF is also would be available under the description section in the video wherever I upload this video so you can get it from there okay so so and uh, as I mentioned like we are providing uh, as a Hadoop exam like you can just click here we have 490 plus practice questions we are providing even we are even we are going to add uh, like replace the old question soon and a new question would be added in this okay so based on your uh, recent 9.4 version of the SES or even advanced version of the SES if whenever it comes up we re replace the questions and if you have already subscribed you will get the update for this uh, certification material so thanks thanks for watching and I hope you like this session please don't forget to follow uh, uh, on the YouTube if you're watching on YouTube or wherever you are watching it just subscribe it and to get the again uh, like I wanted to mention you if you want to get the regular update from the Hadoop exam just click here subscribe here put your name and email ID so whenever we do some updates and launch of new training or uh, launch of update of our existing certification material then you can get the update and you can uh, like ask us for the newer version and kind of thing so thanks thanks for watching